less than seven degrees. Less. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm Charlie. And I'm Patrick. And today we're hanging out in Washington, D.C. exploring the Cherry Blossom Festival. Cool, cool, cool. Let's roll. All right, so Pat and I live just north of Chicago, which is awesome because we have Lake Michigan and Millennium Park and all that good stuff. But it's not so awesome because our winters are absolutely brutal. So it's no exaggeration to say we're pretty psyched when spring rolls around. Last March, Pat and I had had enough. The snow had driven us to our limit. We were losing our minds when one morning, Patrick had the perfect idea. Whoa! The Cherry Blossom Festival in Washington, D.C. So imagine this. You're in the capital of the United States of America, surrounded by 3,700 cherry trees, all ablaze in a thunderous floral wave of springtime glory. Basically, each spring, cherry trees are covered in like a million tiny blossoms. And in Washington, D.C., there's like a million cherry trees. And every year, every single cherry tree in the entire city blooms at the exact same time. And this year, we had to be there. But it's much harder to catch than you might think. I mean, for one thing, the trees are only in bloom for two weeks. After two weeks, the flowers wilt and then they just fall off. So there's really only two weeks where you could see anything. And on top of that, the peak bloom period is only four days. That's when 70% of the trees are in bloom, which means it's the best time to visit. So that means there's really only four days where you can see anything good. And on top of that, people have absolutely no idea when this is gonna happen. Even scientists don't know the exact date because there are a million things that determine when the cherry blossoms bloom. So it's pretty much always up in the air. All we know is that maybe it might happen sometime in between roughly March 15th and April 18th. And we can't even be sure we'd make it on time because even after the trees bloom, if there's a super cold day and the temperature dips below freezing, the blossoms are gonna die super quick, just dead. So you could see how ending up in DC at the right time could be a little tough, but we had a trick up our sleeve the indicator tree. Amongst the 3,700 cherry trees in Washington, D.C., there is one tree, the indicator tree, that, for whatever reason, can't wait to bloom with the rest of them. Consistently, the indicator tree, that's this one, every single year, blooms exactly seven to 10 days before the other cherry trees. Seven to 10 days, every year. Once the indicator tree blooms, you better get ready to go to D.C. because you only have 10 days before the real party starts. And we had to be at that party. So we prepared ourselves to get the indicator tree's signal. Fuel in the car, bags were packed, everything was in order, and we were ready at any moment for the day to come. Down the hall, and then all of a sudden, the guy was like, We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming with this important public service announcement from the National Park Service and our nation's capital. The indicator tree has bloomed. I repeat, the indicator tree has bloomed. Cherry blossoms will soon be Whoa, covering Charlie. Washington, DC. We got 10 days. Ooh, good call, Pat. Indicator tree, 10 days, then it's game time. So we waited a bit, then... Run, 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 go, go, go! All right, buddy, let's yeah, go! Buddy. So we hopped in the car, and after a quick 12-hour drive, we arrived at our friend Mike's house in D.C., and oh, man, did we hit the nail on the head? Yes, we did! Boom! We crushed it! Washington, D.C., thousands of cherry trees, peak bloom, and we were there. It was absolutely insane. So much more intense than we expected. The weather was perfect, the monuments looked beautiful, and there were flowers everywhere everywhere. Our friends Mike and Ann spent two whole days showing us around the National Mall and we had a blast. And we learned so much. Pat's gonna break down the highlights for you. Heck yeah I am. A little more behind the scenes info about this incredible cherry blossom explosion fest. You ready Pat? You know it. All right let's go. Is it going? Yeah. Is it, is it yeah. recording? Yeah. Or should I look there? Yeah. There you go. Close enough. All right, what you got about the history of these trees? Like, why are there thousands of cherry trees in D.C.? Seems like a lot. Oh, I've got the whole backstory. Tell you what, you buy us tickets for the paddle boats, I'll tell you everything I know. All right, deal. Let's hear it. Make sure you know, get a little bit of So, back in 1909, for reasons unknown, <laughs> Japan gifted the United States with 2,000 cherry trees. However, we found that they were infected with invasive species and insects. So William Taft, the president at the time, authorized the burning of the trees. They burned them. Japan, instead of getting angry at us for burning 2,000 of their presents to us, they sent 3,000 more trees. And this time, they weren't infested with anything, so we started planting them all. It took over seven years to plant those 3,000 trees. And now you have the tidal basin surrounded by these blooming cherry trees. That was awesome. 
cool, cool, cool. And how come they all bloom at the same time? I mean, it's pretty convenient for us because it looks fantastic, but there's got to be a reason, right? Oh, definitely, Charlie. Definitely, definitely. So, these trees behind me, these cherry blossoms, they all reproduce at the same time because of pollination. Biologically speaking, the main purpose of life is to reproduce. By all blooming at the same time, they have a higher chance of being pollinated and therefore produce more little cherry trees. Ah, uh, super neat, Pat. You got a favorite tree? Of course, the indicator tree. Of course, we totally found it, right? Oh, heck yeah, we found it. Okay, so um, we found it. This is the indicator tree. Um, we found it because um, we matched it to a picture online that kind of helped. Um, also, almost all the petals have fallen off. Um, it blooms 10 days in advance of the other trees, which are in full bloom right now. Also, there's a tag on it that we looked online, and that's the indicator tree, so some good investigative work by us. You feel good about it? I feel fantastic. I think <laughs> I nailed it. <laughs> thanks, Mike. Thanks, Ann. Thanks, Japan. Thanks, Indicator Tree. And thank you, DC, for an awesome Cherry Blossom Festival. Yeah. Way to go, Pat. Good job, Charlie. So, I guess we go back home now. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, it was a good time, man. Yeah, you're right, Pat. That was pretty awesome. <laughs>